Hello and welcome once again. This is Archicard with Frank. Um, making this video in response to Samuel Nathaniel 3540. You commented on a previous video, particularly the video on the use of Archicard modules, and you requested for a video on Archicard layers, and that's what we'll be doing here. So just find a project to exemplify it. I think I'll just go with something recent, um, this guy. Okay, so while Archicard is coming up, I'd love for you guys to First of all, acknowledge the fact that this is Archicad with Frank once again. And what I do here is I post useful content regarding the use of Archicad. If you have anything that you are bothered about in Archicad, you don't know how to do this, or you feel it could be done faster and you don't know how to do it faster, reach out to me. That's why I am here to help you use it faster, to help you use it more efficiently. When I'm talking of efficiency in terms of information management, in terms of file size management, in terms of model optimization, other stuff like that. And even if you want to do like free form models and whatever it is, as far as it's, it's something that you feel can be done on Articad and you don't know how, I'm here for you. All right. So if at the end of this video you find it interesting, like, subscribe, share to a friend. There might be someone who needs it. Let them know. And if you think it was just a waste of time, no problem. Just like, you are free to do that. Just let me fully understand how my content is being perceived by everyone who is viewing this by the way i'm no professional content creator i just want to help out guys in Akikad. so in case it doesn't look as professional as some of the other videos you find out there it's not like i don't care so much but i'm much more concerned with the fact that i'm passing out information over the presentation at this level this is something i merely do in my spare time so uh when i have extra time i would dedicate such extra time to probably making it look much more presentable you know all the graphics all the effects sound background music and all that all right so let's dive into what we're here for today okay so this project is a two bedroom bungalow sorry two bedroom block of flats design you have two bedrooms on this side you have two bedrooms on this side you have the living room the dining the kitchen and all that so there's two bedrooms on this side of the building there's two bedrooms on this side of the building here's the ground floor here's the upper floor and if you see the name it's jic i wrote that as just in case in case someone needs that rather than for me to go stress my head thinking of the layouts from the beginning once in a while in my spare time i do project that i call just in case all right so layers what are layers in archicad layers are how archicad helps it uses to organize elements. In case you've not seen the video where I talked about it, the way that stuff works in Archicad is this. This page here is your drawing board. This entire segment of the screen. Up here are where you choose the kind of changes you want to make to the stuff you draw here. These right here by your left, by the way, this is the default Archicad screen. If case yours looks slightly different, you might want to reset the defaults to understand what's going on here. All right, so what we have on the left here are things that can be drawn on this board. Over here are things that you use to modify. Say, for example, I want this car that's currently having a grayish outline. Okay, um, let me select that again. For whatever reason, my system seems to be lagging today. All right, so, and I want it to have a purplish outline, kind of like this guy. I'm going to come up here because this is where I can modify something that is in here. So in the floor plan and section view, I could come over here and say it should override the pen and then give it a pen color that is like purple and I end up with a purple looking car. So I think we all get the point. When I draw something, I pick the thing to draw from over here. When I want to modify it, that happens over here. When I want to view it, I come over here. I could view on the plan, I could view in the 3D, I could view on the sections, I could view in the elevations, and so on and so forth. And then down here is where I just get certain controls over different variations of views. Take for example, this is a no override when it comes to graphic override. This right here is a simplified plan. This right here is Take note of the what's happening to the wall thickness aside from other colors, also. not just the wall thickness, the wall type, but say the wall hatching, the wall feel, whatever name you want to call it. All right, so um, to not waste further time, I'm going to go into layers. As I said layers help us organize stuff in Archicad. Almost everything on Archicad belongs to a layer. So say I want to send a copy of this floor plan to my clients, but I don't want the furniture to show there. You understand? Or probably I want the furniture to show, I do not want the dimensions to show. What do I do? I use layers. All right, so now here's the thing. As I said, almost everything in card belongs to a layer. When I click on this dimension guy, for example, amongst all the options of stuff that shows up here, my system is really lagging today. That's weird. All right, so this um, box right here, don't know what better name to call it. And as I said, I'm not the most technical person in terms of the presentation and the proper naming and all that. This right here tells us that it belongs to a layer called dimensioning general. 
that is the name of the layer i click over here it's also on that layer if i click on this furniture it is not on that layer it is in a layer called interior furniture so say i don't want to see the furnitures i want all of them hidden not deleted what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the layer setting dialog and for that i press ctrl l all right so when i do this it brings up this window that say talks about layers all right and please this is going to be part one of the videos about layers part two we will deal with layer combinations all right so i come over here and i look at this interior furniture layer and i say i want it off i click on this eye to put it off and when i come back and say okay observe that all furniture disappears all right the exceptions now are these wardrobes right here and that's because i drew them with morphs as you can see they belong to the morph layer and i can also change their layers by selecting them all and then switching it over here from morph general to interior furniture so now Akikad assumes that they belong to the furniture layer i could do something similar for these lines all right so here we go i think i have them all right so switch this to interior furniture now in case i want to create new layers not like the ones Akikad have take for example i didn't want all the furniture to go i just wanted only parts of the furniture to go for example i want to leave the furniture in the bedroom but i wanted the ones in the living room to go what i'm going to do is i'll create a new layer and call this layer bedroom okay sorry when i click ctrl l to get this windows dialog i'm going to press new right here and then name the new layer bedroom furniture all right that said i'm going to hide this eye okay i'm going to show it up initially and say okay so that doesn't end everything i need to bring back the ones i moved out before so i go to interior and by the way you could always use this search icon if you're using article 26 and above this is version 26 i'm not using 27 for tutorials all right so interior furniture and then i say okay and voila they're all back now i want these guys to go i want the bedroom ones to stay so i'm going to pick this all right pick this 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 system is lagging in a very annoying way this 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 um excuse me briefly i'll be back okay so i have all of these selected and now i'm going to switch them from here to bedroom furniture now that i have done that i'm going to go back and hide interior furniture okay so when i hide this layer what happens mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. something went wrong somewhere they didn't move i guess oh 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 let's i forget an error on my own part if you select elements that are already on different layers they would not all go at once for example this was morphed and you understand so i need to pick all of these again and send them to bedroom furniture now that i've done this if i choose to hide the interior furniture i shouldn't run into any problems anymore mm. interior furniture hide and okay so they are gone bedroom furniture are over here i didn't assign this wardrobe to bedroom furniture and that's why you know it's gone so i think we get that idea quite well so that's one thing about layers coming to another part let's look at the 3d on the 3d i'm going to uh rebuild not working okay i'm going to use the 3d cutaway tool um what this tool does is it helps me be able to you know have sort of 3d sections or 3d plans per se uh i was looking at the ground floor so drag this down to the ground floor just about here and then return here all right so observe that bedroom furniture i'm missing because that layer didn't exist before the last time i opened the 3d so why did i come over here there are layers that i could say okay don't hide them this applies to all layers by the way rather make them transparent per se um take a look at this when i click on ctrl l and then i go to the same furniture i've been looking at since interior furniture but right i'm not saying hide now i'm going to this guy right here when i click on this box and you see it's in a wireframe format here and i say okay what happens is it displays everything on that layer like this you understand and what's the advantage of this it helps to reduce the loading time for your 3d objects so in case your 3d is taking forever to load this is one of the ways you could actually cut down the loading time and spend more time doing work than time you spend waiting okay um that said one other thing is locking of layers and i'm going to 
deal with that immediately. In case I feel like I don't need to make any modifications to this furniture, even by mistake, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the layers they belong to, and I'm going to search interior. It's over here. I'm going to make them visible properly again, but then I click on this padlock icon here, and they become locked. And what's the advantage to that? It's the fact that even on floor plan or 3D, wherever I access them, and I don't know like it doesn't fix that. So whatever layer settings you set on each view is only active on that view. If you're moving from floor plan to elevation, elevation has its own layer combination. 3D has its own layer combinations. And I said the part two of this video will dive into layer combinations in more detail. Now I can't come move this furniture randomly. Okay, sorry, this wasn't where I locked it. Like in serial. Um, this video should be done in a few minutes. I don't like long videos. Alright, so locked. Now, I can't drag this furniture no matter what I, what I do because it's locked. See, I was able to drag this slab. I will just undo that. But each of these furniture are in a locked layer. For now, I can't make any modifications to them. And that can be particularly helpful if you are giving out a project to someone else where you have some things done already and you just need them to work on other aspects of that project. So, part two of this video will be coming up sometime within the next 24 hours to Mr. Nathaniel. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for requesting it. See you in the next one. Bye.